the one who practices sin, separating himself from God, and offending him by acts of disobedience, indifference, or rebellion, is of the devil and takes his inner character and moral values from him, not God. For the devil has sinned and violated God's law from the beginning. Yeah. So Antichrist is of the devil, just in case you're wondering. Those that are involved with false teaching can never be involved in these holy Christian graces that the Apostle uh, John is uh, uh, putting out here. And he's saying that they are of the devil, therefore, they are of their father, the devil, the devil and because the devil sent it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right. So, read the next part. The Son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. All right, now, we got to spend some time on this word destroy right now. First of all, when the Apostle John uses the word destroy, the translator of uh, the uh, Greek New Testament has for this word destroy, katargio. Catargio. Catargio, or Catargio, whichever way you want to say it. It always means made of none effect. It's the same concept that you would have in watching a bird fly. You do aware that there's a, such a thing as gravity. When a bird flies, that bird makes of none effect gravity because gravity is the reason why men are on the earth and they don't fly. So the fly, the bird has to make of none effect gravity. Mm -hmm. The airplane is the same way. Now, he didn't make gravity disappear. He didn't make gravity disappear. So, likewise, when the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he made death of none effect. And the scripture says he destroyed death. The destroy that Jesus did in the area of death is the same Greek word, katargio. So, when it says that the Lord Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil, what he did is he put the devil in an area of binding. The devil cannot stop any person who makes a decision to surrender their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. The devil can't come in there and stop that. You know why? because the Son of Man destroyed the works of the devil. He rose from the dead to bodily immortality, and therefore the devil cannot accuse man of sin at all. Why? The substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus Christ has been made. So now when a person says, Jesus, I believe you are Lord. I believe you rose from the dead. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Satan is on the outside. He can't stop it at all. He is bound from that. That's what this verse means. It does not mean that the devil is not still around because the devil still has to be, watch this, resisted by Christians. 
James, of course, said, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he shall what? Well, Peter said that, and uh, James too. But the point I'm making here is that when you read a verse like this, let's read from my translation. The one who practices sin is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. This means that those that are of the Lord Jesus Christ, they have the victory now over the devil. That means they have the victory over Antichrist. That means they have the ability to let the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ remain in them. And what did the Apostle John say? If you let that which you heard from the beginning remain in you, you shall remain with the Father and with the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall have upon you righteousness. You shall have the uh, advocacy ministry of Christ. You shall be a participant in the propitiatory ministry of Christ. You shall be in a place to walk in the light mm -hmm. Walk in the light. Satan, Satan can't stop it Not at all. in other words those that are in Christ have the victory and they have him who is the greater one mm -hmm. 